Today, we're opening the brand new Quarter Century Duelist Box. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Cardbreaker. Welcome back to another epic video. The latest holiday box just recently dropped in Japan about two weeks ago, and we managed to get our hands on three of them. The other two are off the screen because these boxes are actually pretty large. So here it is, the Quarter Century Duelist Box. Japan has been dropping these boxes, I think, since 2021. So this year, of course, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary and getting everything in Quarter Century Rare. This card features a brand new Quarter Century Rare for Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Dragon Magia Knight, I think is the name, or Dragon Magia Master. Basically, it's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Dark Magician of Chaos. So we're going to try and pull that today. Of course, any other of the beautiful Quarter Century Rares, and I'm just really eager to get into these boxes. Now, before we get into today's epic boxes, I do have a huge shout out to make to my friend Chio, who actually lives in Japan and managed to hook me up with all these boxes. He did send us the note. It is a very long one that basically kind of describes the boxes and everything. So for the ones for 2022, we do actually have a battle coming up between the 2022, the, what are they called? Um, we're gonna find it on here. The utility boxes, I think is the name of them. Yes, yeah, secret utility boxes. So we're gonna do a comparison battle of those for a future video, so stay tuned. Then he goes on to explain basically what's in the quarter century box. So there's 60 cards, 30 token cards, and all of them, except for the tokens, can be quarter century rares. And he did actually include a giveaway. So again, Chio, thank you so much, my friend. He is now my hookup <laughs> for all things OCG. So he did give us a giveaway to give to you guys and a black envelope that he says we cannot open till the end. So we're going to save this to the end. It feels pretty thick, so I'm very eager to see what it is. So let's check out this giveaway and then we'll follow all the usual rules. I think he's got it reverse sleeved in here. Oh no, there's two of them. So we're gonna do, let's do two giveaway winners. We've got two cards. Oh, we've got two different Sky Striker monsters, if I'm not mistaken. And these are, we're gonna take a look at these. I think these are the new like parallel rarity cards. So, so these are beautiful. You know, you guys, I'm almost 100% positive these are Sky Striker cards. You gotta let me know down below if they're not. But if you guys want to enter for a chance to win these two beautiful cards, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you are a subscriber. Make sure you guys do ring that bell. And be sure to let me know your favorite card from the Quarter Century Box and which one you guys want to see if it's not featured in this set as a Quarter Century Rare. But let's get into our three boxes and see what pulls we're going to get. All right, guys, let's get into our box. We're going to slow roll the first one just to take a quick look at everything. And then, of course, we're going to quickly unwrap all the rest of the cons for the other two boxes. So we are breaking the seal. Let's check out this box. I've tried to stay away from a lot of spoilers. I did see, of course, the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Magia. What is it? Dragon Magia Master? Drag I think it's the name of it. But I do actually have the set list beside us on my other screen. But oh my gosh, I wish Konami would bring us stuff like this to the TCG. Like this isn't metal, but this is a very nice cardboard finish. So let's get this out of this other cardboard box and just take a look at this. I am a huge fan of these. I did not open any of the Prismatic God box, so this is kind of like my first time viewing any of the holiday stuff. And just wow, guys. So it looks like we have a monster from almost every single era from the Dual Monsters era, just about. So like we've got Black Luster Soldier, we've got Blue Eyes White Dragon, the big three, of course, right there, Exodia, Dark Magician Girl, and then going through the side, I'll let you guys kind of look at all this stuff. So all different eras of Yu-Gi-Oh! This is just beautiful Konami. ECG, please give us this stuff. Anything by now, nothing on the bottom. So let's open up this box and just see what all we got in here. Like I said, I've been trying to stay away from a lot of the spoilers. So they actually included a box of this one. Kind of interesting. So it's not like loose packs. I guess that kind of like helps protect them from getting damaged, which is actually a big plus. And then we've got some, a, I guess, a divider to keep everything tucked away. And then this is a sleeve. What is what is the sleeve for? Am I missing something? <laughs> of course, we're going to have to get into the rest of this. So we've got some instructions down here. If I can actually get this out. Okay, so that's, I guess that's how they made it. So that way you can kind of just pull it out. If I just well, follow the instructions, basically. And then here is the one touch. It's actually really unique to this. Uh, this is actually unique to this box. So it's, it's unique because... It actually has the Yu-Gi-Oh! logo down there on the bottom. So this is the only way you can get this one, plus the Millennium Eye there on the top. So this is actually really cool. I don't want to test it out and open it quite yet, just because obviously there's going to be a glare and stuff. So we're going to take a look at that one later on. And then I think you get a deck box, which is here on the bottom. Let me get these out. These aren't always like the best like condition ones, but they do look cool. We're not going to like construct this and stuff, just because you know it's going to take some more time. But this is the dual, dual box, deck box, and you can actually write your name on there. So... There is our box. Let's get everything out of the way and then let's get into our pack. So again, here's the deck box. I, I, I still don't know what this sleeve is for. I, I am clueless. If you guys know, let me know down below. 
Let's get into our box again. We're gonna slow roll this first one and then get into the other ones pretty quickly. What I will probably have to do though, I'm probably gonna have to grab my scissors because you guys know Japanese packs are almost like impossible to open cleanly. They are just a pain in the butt without potentially damaging any of the cards. But I do wanna take a look at these packs for the first time together. And I will shuffle these because a lot of times OCG products are mappable. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then the token pack. So of course, guys, let me get my scissors, cut these packs open and get them ready to go. Let's take a look at our token pack first before we get into the actual regular packs. Now, I don't know because these are actually like all different eras of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I have, I'm not gonna remember some of these like from Zexel and stuff like that. So we've got our man at Kaiba with the obelisk there. These just, these look stunning guys. These are so nice. We've got some Jaden there in the back with some U-Bell. Uh, this has gotta be, I'm guessing like a Zexel, a Zexel character, I'm not exactly sure. And then, ooh, what is this one? This is, I'm guessing like some type of like, obviously this isn't a Biru, but it's a big rock type person. So again, you guys gotta bear with me. I don't know the names of a lot of the Zexel and stuff beyond. And some of the 5Ds I'm still like learning. So I gotta make my way through the series. But regardless though, we're here for the packs to see what we're gonna get in these. Pretty much, like I said, this is all celebrations of the 25th anniversary. There's all different cards. Everything can be featured in every single rarity. We're just really hoping to see the Dark Magician, the Dark Magician Girl, the Drag... What is it? Dragon Magia Master is the name of it. So here we go. Let's get into them. We got the Nibiru, the Access Code Talker, a... What is this one? This is a Flame Swords, a number 54. I'm going to pull this one up because now I'm just curious. I got to know the name of some of these cards, of course. 54. This is Favorite Hero. No, I've seen this one before. So Favorite Hero. And then, oh, this is the new Wing Karibo level six. So that's actually hilarious because we got the favorite hero and then the Wing Karibo level six right beside it. So it's basically Wing Karibo with Flame Wingman. Doesn't get any better than that. This is one of the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon? No, Odd Eyes, Re no, it's not Odd Eyes Rebellion. Maybe it is Odd Eyes Rebellion. We've got, of course, oh, we already have our quarter century rare, guys. I do want to, I want to save that, I think. So we're going to save that. I'm going to put that right there. I don't want to spoil it yet because we have quite a few more packs to go. Let's go a couple more packs and then we'll get in that one. Odd Eyes. I'm guessing this is Rebellion Dragon. What is this? I got to figure out the name now. This is Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. I was close. Odd Eyes Dragon Rebellion Overlord. This is Dino Wrestler Pinkertops. I don't know the name of that one. And then our secret is some random trap card. I am, of course, having a lot of fun with this. Some of these names I don't know. This is something Serif uh, 39. This is Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon Air Raid. So everything like Zexel, Arc, Arc V, and all that stuff and beyond, I'm not going to know a lot of the names. But they, they look nice. The artwork is nice. This is um, this is number four, so we're going to go way back up. Full Armored Utopic Ray Lancer. So this is actually a brand new card that just released in this pack. And then, oh my gosh, this is... Oh, I'm, just, I'm drawing a complete blank. What is the name of her? Uh, Chaos Goddess? Chaos... What well, is this released? In Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel, this was in Cyber... What is it? Cyber Dark... Not Cyber Dark Impact. This is... Uh, Oh my gosh, what is the name of it? I'm going to pop it up on the screen. I'm drawing a complete blank tonight, guys. I had to go look it up. It's Cyberstorm Access. I don't know how. I just completely blanked and forgot that one. 2023 was just such a crazy year. I honestly can't believe I forgot that one. Photon Hypernova was just an amazing set. Of course, Age of Overlord. That was a really good set, too. Got some Max C. Oh, this is uh, Saryuja Skulldread or something like that along, the, along those lines. Blue Eyes, Chaos, Max Dragon. Of course, I remember that one. That would be a beautiful one to get in the quarter century rare. And oh, we got the secret rare version of it. So this is the card I was telling you about. This is the one that has, it's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon with Dark Magician of Chaos there in the background. So just admire that artwork. We are really hoping that our quarter century rare for this box at least is one of those. We've got the Cross Out Designator. Of course, they just had to reprint this one again. And then another one of our Raid, was it Raid Raptor? Uh, yeah, Raid Raptor. Ooh, this is, this is a brand new card featured in this set. This is... Uh, Shining Star Dragon. So this is a brand new one, like I just mentioned. And then our last one is, oh, what is this guy? What is this guy? So bear with me as we flip through these, because a lot of these OCG ones, I do not know. Number 60, Dwargress the Timeless. So these these Prismatic Secret Rares be looking good. And I don't know what's new. I know there are a couple new ones. I think the Wing Karibo, that Utopic Ray Lancer one, and then the Star, whatever I just said, Star Shining, is it Star Shining Dragon? I think is what it was. Shining Star Dragon, close enough. All right, another cross out. We've got Dimension Shifter, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Blue Eyes Alternative, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, and then I have no clue what this guy is. Of course, we're going to look at that one up as well. This is Numbers Evil, Numbers Evil. So beautiful card. I know I'm holding you guys kind of hostage to get to our quarter century rare. Bear with me, guys. We're just having fun and enjoying this. 
Lackluster Soldier, of course. The Ash Blossom, we just have to have that one because 25th anniversary wouldn't be anything without some Ash. And then I think this is actually one of the other new ones. This is uh, Fusion. No, I gotta go back the other way. This is Supreme King Zark Synchro Universe. So yes, this is one of the new ones for the Supreme King. And then, oh, our secret is, I actually like this artwork a lot. This is from, I think the, what is this one from? One of the movies, I believe? Very, very beautiful artwork. I would not mind getting that one in the quarter century rare. Try not to take too long on all these cards, but I know we just, we just gotta enjoy them because they're cool cards. Whenever, I have no clue what that guy is. Looks, looks like an Autobot, it really does. Ghost Ogre, of course I know her. Assault Synchron. And then our last secret is Gandora. Gandora is such an epic monster. But let's get into our quarter century rare. Let's see what we got gifted for this first box. We got an infinite and permanent. Black Luster Soldier, the legendary Swordmaster, I think. And then we've got, ooh, a Gandora from our first one. So this actually is really nice. So this was, I believe Yugi used this whenever he faced off. Did he use this when he faced off against Yami? Or who was it? Maybe Bakura. I think he used when he faced off against Bakura. So that is just a classic card, guys. It's time to get into our last two boxes. Let's go into our token packs first. Let's hope we can get, well, I was going to say, let's hope we can get the Yami Yugi one. But there is our super, at least. So every token can be featured as a super or a secret. All right, we, we got to look this one up. This is number 30. This is like the last, one of the last tokens. So what is the name? This is actually Primal Being. So this is Nibiru. This is the Primal Being token. Okay. I'm glad I wasn't too far off for that one. Oh, there is Yami and Yugi, the very beautiful dynamic duo. And then the last one, oh, this is, um, oh my gosh, what is their name? Number 21, this is uh, Yuya and the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. These Prismatic Secrets, guys, they just, they look stellar. They look so good. Maybe we'll get something like that one day. Uh, I don't know their name, but that is the TG Halberds, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, our man Kaiba, there he is again, Kaiba with Obelisk. There is another one of Yuya, and then our last Prismatic Seeker. Do we have an iconic Dual Monsters era? It is, oh, the Yami and Yugi. I am actually really thrilled to get this one. So I'll probably end up using this in like one of my, like one of my binder pages or something like that, just because it's really cool. And then guys, please give a big shout out to Chiyo for making this possible. You know, him sending over these boxes, obviously, you know, having a connection in Japan is huge because the prices are just like next to nothing compared to what they are on eBay. So Chiyo, thank you so much, obviously, for the giveaway for the boxes. And I can't wait to get into that black envelope. I'm just eager to die, eager and dying to see what's inside there. This is, I think, Garden Rose Flora. We've got the um, Call by the Grave. There is an Ultra of our Dragon Magia. And then, ooh, the Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. Beautiful prismatic secret for these fusion monsters. I think the fusions might look the best in that prismatic secret. Another cross out designator, another Pancratops, Salt Synchron, and it is the Access Code Talker. This card was first originally released as a secret rare and eternity code. Got it here as a prismatic secret. Ooh, what is this? That is set number 49. Apologize if you guys can hear my wheel on my mouse. I'm just trying to check this stuff out. So Splash Mage, that's what that one is. Splash Mage. There's another one of our odd eyes. Another Ultra of Dragon Magia, and it is, ooh, is this Fairy Tale Snow? I think that's the name of that one, Fairy Tale Snail or Snow, something like that. I did just basically mix up all the packs, so I have no clue when our quarter century is going to sneak up on us. We're not going to save them, we're just going to go straight into it. Infinite Impermanence. Oh, what is this guy? We haven't seen that one yet. Number 26, that is a Dark Beckoning Beast. Another one of our Star, star Shining Dragon, a Shining Star Dragon, something like that. And Utopic Future, this card was an absolute rampage coming through Lightning Overdrive. A Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, we've got the Ghost Ogre, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, and then it is, oh, it's actually uh, Santa Claus. So this is this card's so iconic, because obviously it gets shared around every time like Christmas and holiday time is coming around. It is Santa Claus, how can you go wrong with that one? None of our quarter century rares have been pulled yet from the last two boxes. I, I say that, and then watch, like this next pack or two is going to feature them. Santa Claus is a super this time. This is, ooh, this guy was like just released recently, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, no, it got reprinted, I think, as a collector's rare. Astrograph Sorcerer. This card looks really, really cool. There's another one of our Black Luster Soldiers. And there is uh, the King Zark in that awesome looking prismatic secret. This one didn't actually cut all the way down. I'm always paranoid that I'm going to cut open a cut open a pack and actually cut a card. It's, it's going to happen sometime. I really hope it doesn't happen to an expensive one. Splash Mage, our Wing Karibo level 6, and ooh, a Prismatic Called by the Grave. I love to see these Prismatics. We've got our Nibiru, the big rock guy. Cross Sheep, we haven't seen her yet or them yet. Our favorite hero, and then another one of our Utopic Ray Lancer. Really hoping we get a, a unique 
card for our quarter century rares. Oh, speaking of, there it is. We got our Pancratops, Black Luster Soldier, Blue Eyes, Chaos Max Dragon, and it is... No, not a duplicate. Ah, oh, I was really hoping we wouldn't see any duplicates. So there is a duplicate of Gandora. That's a bummer. I'm, I'm hoping our third one isn't a, isn't a duplicate as well. I'm gonna be really upset if it is. But that's just that's how it goes with these cases. There's so much clumping, just like the the um, 2023 tens. It's, it was crazy. Oh, Dark Magicians. I didn't know that that was in here. Dark Magicians as the Ultra, and then uh, what is this guy? This is. Do, 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 do. Code of Souls. All right, keeping this going. We got another Called by the Grave, our Nibiru, Ray Lancer, and this is our Raid Raptor. I think it's the name of that guy. Uh, that is uh, Ray, yeah, Ray Lancer, and then Raid Raptor. All righty, come on. Quarter Century Rares, please give us something unique. This is uh, Sales Ban? I think that's Sales Ban. That was Battle of Chaos. If I'm mistaken. One of the Co Talkers. Dark Magician, of course. And then we've got the Infinite Impermanence in that Prismatic Secrets. Let me know what you guys think of these boxes. Like I said, we're going to do a kind of a little battle of the 2022. Oh, this is our last quarter century, guys. We got a couple more packs to go. So, of course, we can still get some pretty cool stuff. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the 2022 and 2023 holiday boxes. Let me know your thoughts on this upcoming quarter century pool. Let's hope it is a good one. Come on. Palladium, Oracle, Mahad, and it is a Wing Karibo level 6. I saw the effect and I got excited. I thought it might have been the Dark Magician Girl, but hey... I will take a classic Wing Karibo with Flame Swordsman combo. I'm just, I'm glad it's not another reprint. That's, or not, not reprint, but another uh, duplicate, basically. That would have been really unfortunate. I would have been very upset if that's the one that we pulled. All right, let's just, let's go through these last couple ones a little bit faster. It's because we have kind of seen most of this stuff. We did pull our big quarter century. Ooh, there's our star. What is it? Yeah, Shining Star Dragon. That would have been a nice one to actually see as a quarter century. Kind of a bummer. We didn't see anything other than the effect monsters. That would have been cool to see. This is our something eval. Some, I can't remember the name of it. Something e eval. <laughs> uh, Battlestorm Roach, I think is that that guy or something like that. Surya Yuja, Wing Karibo, and Blue Eyes. Oh, that looks nice. The way it like reflects off like the scales, I guess, or something on the Blue Eyes is really, really nice. All right, coming on our last couple packs. We've got the Cross Sheep again, Zark, and whatever this guy is, number 16. This is Aritama. Oh, this is, um, I forget what that came in, like a GX set, if I'm not mistaken. All right, last pack before we go in to our black envelope that Chio did send over to us. Oh my gosh, why didn't we get this guy? I mean, I, I guess I do already have this in Starlight, but oh, that would have been just beautiful to get in the 25th anniversary quarter century rare. And oh, this is um, Cyclone. What is, what is this guy? I can't remember the name of this one off the top of my head right now. Cosmic Cyclone? Is that what it is? Yeah, Cosmic Cyclone. So, hey, I pretty much had it. So there was all of our boxes. Now let's get into what Chio did send into us. So I'm, I'm very eager to see what our friend has gifted us. I don't want to potentially damage anything. I've got no clue. He didn't even say he was including this. I just happened to read that note as I opened up the box. And I was like, well, looks like we've got something extra in here. So Chio, again, a huge thank you for you sending over this stuff. And so I think that's all of our black envelope. All right, so we got a little bit of suspense here. Is it all going to be like that? It, Of course. Of course, he's... Oh, we've got a Black Lesser Soldier, the so Legendary Sword Master. So these are not all the way reversed. So Black Lesser Soldier. We've got... Did he do it? Did he do every single printing of it? This is the Black Lesser Soldier in the Prismatic promo. Prismatic Secret. And then this is the Collector's... Are the, this, is, this is the Ultimate Rare. Ultimate Rare Black Lesser Soldier. He knows how much I love Black Lesser Soldier. So don't tell me he did it. Did, did he do it? He did it backwards. Oh my gosh, he did it. <laughs> These side loader, top loaders are always interesting and kind of like strange to open if you guys aren't used to it. So let's see what he did for this last one. It, it could be something totally different, but that is really cool. Chio, thank you so much for that. So let's let's pull this out and then reveal it in three, two, one. Oh, and he did. I can't tell you how many times I've almost bought this card on eBay. I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to wait and wait and wait. I don't have to do it anymore. Chiyo, thank you so much for this card, dude. This card is stunning. I love Black Lesser Soldier so much. We, we got to sleeve that real quick. Well, we do actually have a sleeve right here. So what am I doing? Let's go back to these 25th anniversary sleeves. These are beautiful sleeves, by the way. Chiyo, thank you, my friend. We've got some more stuff coming in from Japan because our guy is hooking us up. We've got some more incredible openings. So be sure to stay tuned for those. And let me know your thoughts on these 2023 Duelist boxes. Are these a big win for Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you guys want them at TCG? Let me know your thoughts and your favorite card down below. I do have to give a massive shout out to our channel members, Rare Hunter X, Sargoni666, K Dragon, Mark Donnelly, Cody Slater, Attention Duelist, Josh Evans, Michael P. Sutton, 
Call Me Corey Ray, Lazy Dane, Ricardo Espinoza Salazar, and Drew E. Thank you all for supporting the channel. I do hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.